right now, before we go to our first audience image, I'm going to start off actually with one of the, just one of those things that uh, I think is it's something I get a lot, and it's actually a leftover from my presentation yesterday. Um, if any, I don't know if anyone was there at that one, but I was working on um, talking about selections and mass in Photoshop and how mass and re very refined mass and selections are a a tool and a, and a method of having a lot of control over our image developing because you know we have global adjustments where we adjust the whole image, but a lot of the adjustments that we want to do to be very creative and selective about how we're creating those adjustments is we need to target the adjustment to a specific part of the image. But we also want our adjustments to be imperceptible to other people. We want to adjust brightness or contrast or color balance or whatever it is, but we don't want the viewer to immediately see, oh, I see what I see what they did there. I see the edge of that adjustment or I see something looks weird there. And so masks and Photoshop, for my money, are the most sophisticated, nuanced and controllable way to to do this. And let me just move some things so I can share my screen here. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let's see, where is my Photoshop? Here it is. Okay. So are we seeing Photoshop? We are. We okay. are. So here's Photoshop. And the thing that I want to show in my presentation yesterday, I showed, I was trying to get to as many ways to make selections and masks in Photoshop as possible, because there's many, many ways and different ways are good for different situations. There were, there was two things I wanted to show that we just ran out of time for, um, but they're really easy and it's something fairly new in Photoshop that I'm not sure how many people know is even there yet. And if you're not a Photoshop user, um, this is just kind of a good idea to some of the things that Photoshop can do that really other um, imaging applications uh, don't do quite so well or don't do at all. So if I want to make selections, you know, there's lots of ways to make selections, but two automated um, selection options in Photoshop that are, that are fairly new. If you go to the select menu, um, well, actually there's focus area, but this only works on images like taken with a multiple cameras or multiple phones where there's actually a depth map involved. Um, actually, you can do it with non-depth mapped images and it works okay, but I don't use a lot. But um, subject and sky. So the sky selection, actually, if you click that, this just auto generates a sky selection. And it'll take, it takes a minute because it's crunching a lot of numbers. So you can see in this image that just with that auto select sky, that it's really done a, an amazing job of finding where the skyline is in this image. And it's even selected all around the trees, uh, up here on the skyline, and even on the sea stack, it found the exact edge of the, uh, you know, the water, the horizon out there. And this is not a perfect selection yet, but it's pretty good. Um, and it depends on the image, but a lot of times you could just straight away go to this and add this to a, an adjustment, for example, like a curves adjustment, and now use that to make an adjustment. And as you can see, I'm adjusting now just the, uh, just the sky with that. Now, like I said, it's not perfect adjustment, well, it's, it's not a perfect mask for this particular adjustment because we still have some issues out here. I actually wouldn't want that to stop right at the horizon or you know, kind of make that those uh, headlands in the background look not great. But if you need an initial sky selection, that's a great way to go. And it's a good starting point that you can then refine from there. So that's one thing, so just select sky. I use it all the time. I, I always make sky selections because in my landscape photography, I almost always wanna make different adjustments to my sky than I want to make to my land. So having a sky selection, which can be inverted to become a land selection, now I have a quick and easy way to put adjustments only into the sky or put adjustments only into the land. So that's one. The other one, let me just delete that really quick. The other auto selection here is called select subject. And this one's meant mainly for like people subjects. Uh, and it can actually find, there's some 
artificial intelligence in here it goes in and looks for a person that it thinks is the subject and it'll put a selection around the person but if you don't have a person in the image if there's not anything obvious that's a subject it'll say that can't find a subject but if you have something like these c stacks that seem pretty obvious let's click on that select subject and yeah it was able to find the C stacks and say, I think this is what the subjects are. And now that those are selected, I can create an adjustment just for the C stacks. And again, these aren't perfect selections. I'd I need to do some refining. But what if I wanted to select just this one C stack and Photoshop on its own thinks, well, I'm going to select all of them. Well, there's also, let me deselect that. Up here in the tools, um, this selection menu, or little selection submenu here. A lot of times I'm using the quick selection tool, but there is an object selection tool. So if you select that, you can actually draw a box around the thing you want to select. And now it's selected just that one C stack. Or if I wanted this C stack instead, I could draw a box around that one and it will select that one instead. So some of those auto selection features that are, they're now building into Photoshop give us the ability to quickly, uh, but very precisely put adjustments just to the places we want in our images. And that's one of the things in image developing that gives us the ability to be the most nuanced, the most have the most control and really decide how do we want to uh, you know, express that image and we can really target in on individual locations. Okay, so that was just a quick kind of thing. Like I said, didn't get to yesterday that I, I felt sad that we didn't get have time to include that in there. And it's something that I get questions about a lot. Like how do I make a selection of, of something or how do I make a mask for something? Okay, so let's now jump.